All right, I had this big elaborate video to talk about, and we're not going to do that. We're just going to go a little bit off the cuff, and we are currently about um, a month since we started this cut, and I'm going to pull up the numbers right now because... Your boy's behind. You know, I shared a little bit about this in the last video um, as far as like, you know, kind of getting too cocky, you know, th you know, I've been doing this for a while and I teach people how to do this and um, I understand the game. Um, but that's not to say that I can't get humbled by it, which I have, because it's been, I want to say about eight-ish months since I've been tracking consistently. So I'd say it was before September. Um, and the reason why I'm going to <laughs> sound hard on myself, because I haven't been honest. I have not been as honest with tracking. I've had a couple good days, a couple bad days. Like, all this being said, right, when we started, I was uh, on February 13th when I recorded the first video, I was at 2.13. Uh, I'm currently at around 2, this week I'm averaging like 2.06, which is good, right? Um, but there's a couple of things that play it into factor, right? One is I just want to be honest, and I have not been tracking. I've had lots of days of overeating. Uh, I've had some days where it's just like the appetite wasn't there and then would eat a lot at the end of the day, which led to kind of going over calories. Um, and none of the, none of these are excuses. And I say that cause I know a lot of my clients are going to be watching this. So it's kind of like a come to Jesus moment, right? <laughs> um, also leading up to that, I, so February 13th was the, the day I started with my cut. Uh, the weekend before that, I know I went a little bit ham, um, so probably wasn't the most accurate weight. Now we are, like I said, what are we, like six, seven pounds down already, which is great looking at it, but I know, so I'm, again, floating around 206, but I know it could have been floating around like 200 or 199 at this point, and all of this is to say that like... We have to look at the positive and the negative, right? The positive is that, man, like, I'm like, what is that? Two or six, six, seven, yeah, I'm seven pounds down officially as of February 13th, which is amazing. Um, that's, today is uh, March, I'm going to upload this right away, right after this. Today is Saturday, March 18th, 2023, and seven pounds in a month? And a few days is like fucking great progress. If I could continue doing that, then great. The reason I'm um, kind of so hard on myself in this video is because I know that I was not being honest with tracking. I was just doing what I knew prior to this. But you know, I was kind of doing what I was doing prior to this, but just being more aware of it, if that makes sense. That being said... Um, we can't continue to stay in this realm of like guilt and, and man, I could have done better or should have done better or whatever it is, uh, because that's not going to do me any good. So what do we do now? We just start over. I'm not going to be doing any extra cardio. I, I kind of do a lot of cardio as is, uh, just because with my job, like I sit here at my desk a lot of the time um, and due to that you know kind of live a sedentary lifestyle so what I like to do is I like to get lots of steps in uh, and burn calories that way while like uploading and creating content yeah shameless plug shameless plug so while uploading and creating content um, all, yeah this is fucking tough for me to share I'm not gonna lie this is really tough for me to share um, because it's what I 
help clients with, you know, like I help them get out of their situations. But sometimes listening to your own advice uh, when you know what you should be doing is the hardest. So this is a learning topic. This is a learning video. Uh, like I said, I'm still seven pounds down, which is fucking great and amazing. But it's time to uh, step it up a bit. Um, planning, we'll see. Planning on going to Bali in May. Uh, might be going, might be traveling to Portland for a wedding next month. So it's going to be lots of stuff coming up. And I want to be, I want to be in really great condition by, um, by Bali. So again, the, the goal is to be at, um, like 178 to 185. Uh, I haven't been 185 in years. Uh, so we'll see. I got really close to it last year, but we'll see. That's it, man. I just want to share this with you guys, and I want to be raw. I want to be real. I want to be honest, and uh, I want you to know that even as a trainer, I, I think not a lot of trainers will like to admit this, but even as a trainer, we go on extremes as well because we have all the knowledge, right? And it's just sometimes not applying that exact knowledge to ourselves. Um, so it's kind of like a practice what you preach, which is also why, uh, I, I, in my opinion, because I've done it, uh, hired fitness coaches as well. And some of them I've like, uh, uh, really vibed with their, um, their processes or their thought process of, of training and working out. And some of them I didn't, but either way, when I did it, the biggest thing, and I say this about my to my clients as well, or like this is actually what they say to me is usually they join because they think they need a nutrition plan and a workout plan, but ninety nine percent of the time that they're in there is because they need the accountability and they need somebody to, you know, hold the hold the line. And uh, when I I've hired two fitness coaches before, when I have hired fitness coaches, I didn't do it. Them. Like I never do it for someone else. I do it for me always. But when I did it, when I did it, it was because, like you know, if I was messing up or anything, I still had. I think I lost uh, fifteen or twenty pounds with one of them, and I around thirty pounds with the other. Um, you know, so the reason I did it was not because to like for them but it's also like kind of holding my name and I'm like man well I gotta do this I'm a fucking fitness coach I gotta do this anyways I'm rambling on um I just wanted to kind of um share this with you guys and let you guys know that man trainers go through this too and uh we are people too we are normal and um that's it this was a tough video for me to speak out loud that's it Maybe back to the theatrics and back to the, uh, not theatrics, but back to the, the high quality vids next week. But this was a nice sit down talk and uh, hopefully you guys got something from this. Uh, if you did, make sure to like, follow, subscribe. If you didn't, like, follow, subscribe anyways, all right? Hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll talk to you guys on the next video.